morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 10th of September and I am off to Lake Kawaguchi to essentially see a Mount Fuji. So it might be absolute flop, it might be okay, I don't know, you will see because sometimes you can see it, sometimes you not, but I have all day um, in there essentially so my train is at 9 30 it's currently 8 7 so i'm actually early for once i'm gonna grab some breakfast uh and uh, or bento box we'll see what i can find in shinjuku station and then we're gonna take um shinkansen which takes two hours to get there so yeah exciting also the weather should be a bit better because yesterday was raining and at the moment it's 26 degrees and it should stay around 26, 27 degrees. So hopefully the 5 uh, degree difference I will feel but we'll see, I will report about that. Sadly, you can't really see Mount Fuji. It is very cloudy, so hopefully later on it's gonna clear out, but then eventually then there it is. I just climbed this big ass fucking hill, I'm out of breath, to see the lake of Aguchi. Cool. And you can't really see it from here, how can I show you? <laughs> so, this is essentially all you can see. I thought you can see like the whole thing, but no. But, do you know what is the best thing? That from the other side you can't see Mount Fuji. So, let me show you. Well, you can see. Oh my god, I am out of breath. Thanks to God, I did my walks when I was back home. Because if not, I would be dying. Also, Google Maps said, oh, it's only 30 minutes walk. With little elevation. It wasn't a little elevation, my love. But, anyway, so, right in front of me. Oh, sorry for my hand. You would see a man Fuji. It's all cloudy. I don't know if you can see down there, but there's like a theme park, which is quite cool. And on the other side, you have the other mountains or hills. But I really hope that this is gonna clear out in a few hours. I have time till five. It's currently 12.15, so fingers crossed.
けなくて僕はずっと」Second hike in a day. It's really long, very steep. I could take a stairs, but my knees wouldn't do it, so I'm taking the longer way. <sighs> I can't breathe. I'm so unfit. Anyways, I'll get you when I'm out there. I'm gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> Still low for the sun. And I think um I don't think even tomorrow I will see it when I'm taking the Shinkansen to Kyoto, but you know, it's the whole Maybe it will be my lucky day and the clouds clear. Also it looks like maybe gonna rain actually, so I'm just heading down the same road because I'm not taking those stairs. Too risky with my clumsiness and probably gonna check another one shrine or two shrines on the way down before my train back to Tokyo which is at 5 47 because I don't need to actually go back to Kawakuchi go which was my original plan but I can jump from this station and I already forgot the name so yeah basically gonna go from here so I have time to explore a bit more. I don't know about you, but I'm just living the life. I'm in a random town in Japan, waiting for my train and eat meat on a stick. Life is great. So good. And that is basically it for the Mount Fuji vlog. Obviously, we haven't seen Mount Fuji, but it is what it is. I guess I have now another reason to come back to Japan to finally see Mount Fuji. Um, I still have opportunity tomorrow because when I'm going to Kyoto, I book a seat in Shinkansen that we should be passing Mount Fuji. And it sh sh like if it's visible, you should see it. So fingers crossed that we can see that tomorrow. And yeah, I just had my dinner. I didn't even film it because... I actually went on TikTok live. I just got that uh, feature and tried it. Very weird concept, not gonna lie. The whole getting live and talking to camera on your own, just reading the comments. So I'm not a big fan, but I will give it a go again. <laughs> um, now I just need to pack basically because tomorrow I am 
going to Kyoto, which I'm excited. So obviously Tokyo was on my list as well to visit. I haven't seen much, so I feel like I need to definitely come back. But for the first time coming to Japan, and if it's my last time, I really wanted to focus on Kyoto because I am obsessed with geishas and the whole geisha culture is basically from Kyoto and I just can't wait to explore all the streets and potentially see real life geishas as well and uh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. So put literally the most days in Kyoto and yeah but before I go I'm gonna actually show you. So I went down to reception and I asked for the slip for sending my uh, suitcase to Kyoto because I'm not gonna fucking take it on a train. Like going through Rompogi station to, this one's actually new one, I think I'm going from Tokyo station to Rompogi trying to still check. But uh, I'm not taking my big suitcase, I'm gonna just take my hand luggage with a couple of days uh, clothes of uh, worth and the basics that I need and then my big suitcase can literally be delivered as the same way it was delivered from airport to uh, this hotel so this is what you fill out to so basically put the details of the hotel your details uh, I believe this size side is what your suitcase contain but I'm not 100% sure so I left it and they will have me tomorrow morning by the uh, when I'm gonna be checking out and yeah so that's it i'm not gonna lie i'm absolutely naked so i'm just gonna literally finish packing take a shower and finally sleep like yesterday again i think i still have a jet lag because i couldn't sleep till like 3 a.m and then i was up at like 7 so i'm running on four hours sleep and it's my third or fourth day so i can definitely feel it on me and the hikes today definitely kick my ass so yeah definitely if you come into Lake Kawaguchiko and you want to go up uh, to the view viewpoint to see Mount Fuji take the cable card don't be stupid like me and listen Google to be like oh it's only 35 minutes walk it took me fucking hour you know when I did the video when I was showing you when I was complaining about me doing the hike that was actually half point that was a half point and then I used to climb and it was even more steeper and to be fair kudos to me for being scared of heights and actually accomplish it and not being scared sometimes when i look down i was like if i slip now i'm gonna break my neck and it's gonna be literally i'm gonna be gone and nobody will know because nobody was hiking it because many people were going like down but then i was thinking like if i go down it would be even more dangerous so i was actually quite happy that i went up uh the way up but it was so challenging so <laughs> and that's that but uh, yeah, I will do like a guide as well with tips and tricks if you go to see Mount Fuji where to stop because I, not that I did wrong research, I went through like kind of what I see on TikTok and stuff but there's a certain like aspects that you want to kind of tweak after today that I've seen so I'm going to put that in writing as well and share it with you on my substack so yeah, but anyways. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this Mount Fuji vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!